When your badminton game starts to improve, you begin thinking about finding the right racket for your type of game. I'm going to give you some tips on how to find the one that matches your style on court. Hi, I'm Coach Kenny Asuncion, and if you want to level up your badminton game, do hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Having the best racket ever made is probably not enough to make you a world-class player. But choosing the right one can help you deliver your strokes with more strength, speed, and finesse. So before I get into the details of how to choose your racket, I just want to make it clear which parts are which. So this is the grip, this is the shaft, and this is the head of the racket. So when choosing a racket, we'll start with the grip, okay? There's a particular weight with the grip. So it depends on what brand you're going to use. So you better ask the salesperson um, what their sizing would be. Because there is um, the lightest uh, weight, which is about 80 to uh, 84, 80 to 84 grams. And then the next level, the next heavier level, would be about, you know, um, 85 to 90. And then the next level would be 91 to about 94. And then the, the heaviest would be 95 to 100 grams. So that's approximately the weight. So what does the weight do? It depends on the player, okay? So if you grip your racket and you want your grip to be heavy, then probably you're choosing a racket that's slightly lighter if you want the, the grip area to be heavy. If the grip area is heavy and, every, and the head is light, then it will be a little bit more flexible. Okay, So those are the weight of the grip area. That's what you can choose from. Now, what does it concern with the head of the racket? The head of the racket could be heavier. So, upon holding onto the racket, you will know that it is a top heavy or if it's a lighter head in terms of the racket. Now, the top heavy is very helpful when you love to do smashes or strong clear to the back because it helps you and gives you that extra push. However, that extra push can also slow you down a little bit since it's heavier, it's, you can't move it as fast as you'd like to. If the head of the racket is light, then that means you can move faster and swing it faster. Now, some people would say that the head-heavy racket is more for a singles player because they have the time to make that big swing and return and be ready, whereas the head, which is lighter, is more for doubles simply because you can move back you know, faster and you can ready yourself right away since doubles would have faster shots. But I would always say it still depends on the player. You might be a doubles player, but you want a head-heavy one. It really is up to you. For me, rackets are very personal in the sense that it's a personal preference. Pretty much like flavors of ice cream. If you love eating ice cream, we, we would all have different tastes with regards to the flavors. So it's also the same with the racket. Now, if I were to compare a racket and sort of um, something like a hammer, when, when we picture a hammer, we know that it is head heavy. So that head heavy helps us in hitting that nail and speeding up to push that nail in wherever you want to push that nail in. But when you turn it around, when you flip it around and use the back part, which is the lighter part, to hit the nail, sure, you'd still get the job done. You'd still be able to push the nail, but on a different speed. So again, it depends on what type of player you are, what type of game you enjoy playing, that's how you pick the racket. The shaft is pretty much what connects the head and the grip. There are stiffer shafts.
and there are um, more flexible shafts. So you have to know what suits you. As with regards to the grip, once again, the grip is a preference. I would always prefer something that I can grip well, but not too, not a grip that's too small because my fingers will be overlapping or not a grip that's too thick that I can easily drop my, my racket. So you want something that's comfortable, that you can um, use a very relaxed manner in holding it and ex execute your shots really well. Another thing that we take into consideration will be the tension of the racket. So how, how tight the strings are, okay? A simple tip is that normally in tropical weathers, weathers that are very, you know, uh, hot and stuff, normally you go for a higher, uh, higher tension simply because the strings could move from the heat. Now, what are the tensions? What are the different tensions? Normally for a beginner, you'd go for a 22 to about 23 pound tension of strings. And then for a more intermediate player, you'd go for a 24 to 26 tension. And 27 and up for the more advanced player. Now, the tighter the tension, um, the more you have to be you know, good with control. Because the higher the tension, it will be very bouncy. So if you're more accurate, which is why it is preferred for the more advanced players. So those are the things to take into consideration when choosing your racket. If you would want to develop your fingers, wrists, forearms, so you can hold your racket and execute your strokes better, click on the video you see on your screen. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can level up your game and be the next smashing success.